Hello, this is Kedvitics and welcome to today's session. If you are new to the channel, we encourage you to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell so you are always notified whenever we release a new video. In today's brief video, we'll be taking a look at quantile regression. Well, quantile regression is a form of a linear regression model that we employ whenever we realize that our residuals of the model do not follow the normal distribution. If you watch this video right to the very end, you will be able to know how to use theta, for example, to run a quantile regression. So now let's go to the theta platform and see how we can use this. So here we are on the theta platform and we want to see how we can use the theta platform to demonstrate what we spoke about in the introductory video about quantile regression. Also, the activity that we are going to be doing over here is what I have in my view file. So I'll go to my view file and explain what we'll be engaging ourselves with. So basically, we are going to load our data, which is called demo data. After we load it, we are going to run a linear regression model that predicts BMI level using the H head, sex age, BMI, and weight, which are all continuous variables, quantitative variables. Then we are going to generate the residuals. My, we mentioned that quantile regression are run when we realize that our residuals for the model does not pass normality test. So we generate the residuals and then we, we give it a particular name. In this case, it was KDU that was given it. So we use it if it works fine or we generate another name. And then after storing the model as that name, we then test to see it normally distributed or not. And based off the, the interpretation the normality test gives us, we we'll see whether we proceed with the quantile regression or we'll settle with the linear regression model that it has given us. So now let's run the codes as the uh, peer over here. We will copy this and then we we'll go back to that platform and then we we'll run it. So at least and then we run. So immediately I run this code, you realize that the data set has come here. You can just click, click on the app or browse and then wait for a while. And then the data comes and then you're able to see. And when I click on browse, yes, yeah, so this is the data we are working with. So this is it. So once you click on browse, you have opportunity to come here. Now let's go back to, uh, so that is the data we're working with. Good. So now let's run our model. So we are going to run our model. Run our model. So our model is a regression, a linear regression model predicting BMI, which is the outcome variable, and H head, sex H, BM, B, HB, and then weights are the predictor variables or the independent variables in this case. So you can find them here and right here. So when we click on this group, so it has finished generating our model for us. So we take a look at what it gives here. You see the regression model, right? Now, these are the values, the F statistic and all that. And our focus is going to be on here and then here. Now, the next thing we have to do is to what? Generate the model, sorry, the residuals and store them appropriately with a particular name. So we are going to we are going to predict and we are going to name this kinematics and residuals. So we are generating the residuals. So as I said, when you look at the B file, we are trying to generate the residuals and store it as. So in this case, we are storing it as kinematics. So kinematics. So that is what we see done over here. 
So you can see that we are trying to predict an electric residual. So when I click on enter, it sees that 6,197 missing values have been generated. So we have generated our residuals. And the next thing we have to do is simply to what? To run normality tests on the residuals that have been generated. So <clears throat> We we'll run the normality on the residuals that have been generated and see if they pass normality or not. But see the probability value is significant. So it means that our residuals do not pass normality. So invariably, they are not parametric. So because they are non parametric, it fits for us to run the regression model. And how do we run the regression model? It's still the same model. But in this case, we are going to change here to a quantile regression model as the QREC, the same model, and then we'll say comma VCE reverse. So this becomes R. Uh, so in my view, the quantile regression for non-parametric -para variables or the residuals, this model, it models the, the median instead of the mean. So the linear regression focuses on the mean was the non-parametric version, which is the quantile regression, looks at the median median uh, and models their median. So as we can see here, you realize that these values may be slightly different from maybe slightly different from this. So we have 0 0.1, 0 0.11. What do we have here? 0 0.0063. 0. I uh, say, so once you are not able to run this particular uh, quantile regression and settled on the linear regression for this particular variable in question, whatever you are communicating will be very wrong. So basically, this is how you can run the quantile regression, having ascertained whether or not your residuals pass normality or not. And quantile regression is useful when it does not pass normality. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this kind of content, we encourage you to subscribe to the channel. We encourage you to turn on the post notification so you always get notified when we release videos such as this. In our next video, we will learn more about the assumptions that are tested for when we are running a linear regression model. Until then, it is a bye.